Hi guys, it's Evange. So today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make this super super cute curtain tank top. And the reason I call it a curtain tank top is because of the way it's draped, not because it's made from like old curtain fabric or anything like in the sound of music they did that. Um, so definitely if you like this shirt or if you're looking to learn how to sew and draft patterns, this is definitely the tutorial for you, so keep watching. So you're going to start by taking some measurements. You only really need one measurement and that's going to be how long you want the blouse to be. Um, I'm going to measure from my chest to probably about mid, mid hip. Um, so to help me do that, uh, I'm just going to tie this around my chest. So it's not bust, it's chest, which is above your bust. Okay, and then from here, I'm going to measure to mid-hip, so about, about here. That's about 19 inches, and then I'm going to add two more inches for um, just a hem allowance. So I'm going to cut my strip to be 21 inches, and then the next strip, I'm going to add four more inches to that, to um, account for it going up in the front. Uh, so that's going to be 25 inches. So I'm going to cut two strips of fabric, 121 inches, 125 inches. Now that I have both pieces of fabric cut out, I'm going to take the wider piece, the 25 inch piece, and fold it in quarters and use pins if necessary to hold it in place and keep it from shifting. Now that this is folded in quarters, I'm just going to take now the shorter piece and just lay it out on top um, and then mark off where it is. You could also just use a measuring tape and measure your four inches. So I'm going to do a tiny cut there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cup and I'm going to curve it up. Can you kind of see how this will become a shirt? Okay, then I'm going to join the short piece and the long piece, or now the front piece and the back piece, along the sides and pin them and then I'll sew it together. Once the side seams are sewn, I'm just going to press them open and then I'm going to iron and pin a hem in. Once the hem has been pinned, you just want to sew it. Uh, you could use a blind stitch if you like, but I'm just going to use a regular stitch. Next, you're going to need to cut out two pieces of bias tape to finish off the top. Now, the first piece is going to wrap around your back and come up the front to where you have the points. So I'm just going to measure approximately where that would be. Probably about here. I'm just going to add a couple extra inches just um, just because. Okay, so that's piece one. And then piece two is going to come from the back, around the front, and then down the back again. And I'm probably going to cut this about here. So now I need to make gathers and to do that I'm going to start at one of the points in the front and I'm going to sew a basting stitch along this top edge from that point all the way around the back to the other point but leaving the, the space in between them without any stitches for now. So I've just sewn two basting stitches along the top edge and now I'm going to take these ends and I'm going to pull it to make gathers. Now that I've made some gathers, I'm going to take the bias tape I had cut to go around my back and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up and then I'm going to mark the halfway point in chalk 
This is just going to make it easier for me to keep it even. Then I'm going to mark on the ends because I did make this a bit longer. So I'm going to come in about two inches on each end. Okay, and then I'm going to start pinning it to the shirt. So start at these points with the end marked off and I'm going to open up the bias tape to pin it. All of the ease has been pinned in and it's fairly even. So you can see the bias tape is open. I'm going to aim to sew just on or just inside this crease from where the bias tape was opened. The bias tape has been sewn on and I've kind of gone along the top here and kind of cut off some of the extra because uh, there was too much. Um, and then I'm going to fold the bias tape back over to the way it came so that there's a nice clean finish and then I'm going to top stitch. Now that the bias tape has been sewn on and the seam on the inside is now thoroughly encased, uh, you can repeat the same process with now the front curve. Um, the only difference is instead of using all the bias tape, you're going to measure from the middle, then measure four to six inches out and that's where you'll pin this. So I'm going to baste, gather, pin on the bias tape, sew once, fold it in, top stitch, uh, and then you're almost done. So you're almost done. You just got to figure out uh, where exactly you're going to tack your straps. Um, or you know, you could even do this as a halter, in which case you are done. Um, but I'm not going to do it as a halter. I'm going to make it a tank top. So you've just got to kind of put it on and kind of figure out um, where exactly you want it. Um, so, I think I probably want it about there. So I'm just going to do one and then I'll make it symmetrical. Yeah, I'm going to take this, I'm going to put it behind, and then I'm just going to sew back and forth a bunch of times here. What do you think? Um, it's definitely kind of shapeless. It's kind of like a potato sack. Um, if anyone remembers Best Page in the Universe or maddox.xmission.com, he had done an article about how shirts like this are boob curtains. Um, I kind of agree with that. So if you're going to make this shirt, it's definitely super, super easy. However, pair it with a belt. <laughs> I'm going to do that, I think. Um, yeah, I love this fabric. It drapes so beautifully. You could do this, you know, in a chiffon or this is a light satin. Um, just any fabric that really flows would look great, great with this. Um, in retrospect, I think I would have liked to do a blind hem. I'm not happy with how visible this hem is and also there's kind of a couple hiccups where I didn't sew straight. <laughs> um, yeah, and also the bias tape was a lot harder to work with than um, bias tape I've worked with in the past. I think it was, you know, the gathers, the curves, um, the, just the finickiness of everything. Uh, it wasn't as easy as I had envisioned, but um, it's definitely doable. This is not a hard project. Um, the only thing is, when I trimmed the excess fabric from the inside of the bias tape, that made it a lot harder to sew. So doing the front I left all that extra fabric in and it's a bit it's got a bit of bulk in it and you can definitely tell that but um, it was much easier to sew so anyway I'm quite proud of my handiwork um, you know I think I might add some embellishment you know one of these little flowers or something and definitely a belt and I'll probably wear this a couple times I'm not too impressed with the whole straps and the the bias tape trim at the top. But, you know, otherwise, it's beautiful fabric. I've had this fabric for years and I've never done anything with it. So, yeah, thanks for watching so much. Um, remember to leave a comment, remember to rate, thumbs up. Um, and if you like this video, there will be more like it on the way. So, please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.